Welcome to Shambhala 71. This is Steve Cyrus. I thought I'd take you on a little tour, get you inside the mine uh, so you can see what we're so excited about. Uh, you're looking at the, the tailings or the waste rock that they've removed from underground. And first thing to note is that um, there's not a lot here. And that's actually a really good sign because typically most mines, 80% of the material removed will be just that waste rock and 10% um, of the material is mineralized and sent out for processing but you've got here a situation where probably half if not a little bit more of the rock was actually taken for processing and that usually is a really good sign um, we are literally right on the border of the old new rambler workings and first thing to note uh, certainly of significance is that the the USGS records didn't show uh, this mine so it might have been a little bit newer than you know the hundred or so years ago of the original workings but uh, we did a just a crap load of research and we discovered that the early maps of the new Rambler did show this added and uh, that's really encouraging because uh, this could be an extension of the workings and the obvious benefit to that is being able to access the couple of miles of underground workings of the new Rambler because there's reportedly just hundreds and thousands of tons of, of material stockpiled under there for future processing that never came out. So if we can access those workings, um, that's, you know, that's billions of dollars, billions with a B worth of value, potential value, and nobody's ever to my knowledge been this close to that much wealth and in, in one spot underground than we are right now and that's that's frankly why we're excited but um back to basics this i don't know if you can see we're we're at the beginning of a hillside here the real exciting thing uh just beyond the the old workings and the the you know the the data that we can grab from this particular mine we've got about probably 85 feet of workings that at the end of that 85 foot tunnel is probably 50 to 75 feet under this hillside. The data that we can grab from that is um, tremendous value because trying to drill or trying to open something like this up in virgin ground would just be prohibitively expensive in today's world. Uh, the permitting alone would be um, you know, years of effort and the money it would cost to drill uh, the manpower. And we don't need to do that because, frankly, we can walk right in, which I'm going to do with you in a second. But first, this is, I don't know if you can see that. This right here is what uh, what we're here for. That's a platinum vein, pretty narrow, which is typical of uh, platinum group metals in, in this area. And uh, that literally runs the entire length of the mine. That's exactly what they were chasing. Uh, and it literally ranges from that about a half inch, three quarter inch thickness all the way up to a couple feet. And I'm going to actually pull some of that material today. Let's go inside. Let's get to do it without tripping. So you can see, hopefully you can see, along the spine here, that vein that they furrowed, that was their, their road map. And when, when the vein turned, they turned. And the, the mine does take a couple of turns because that's literally what they were after was that uh, that narrow vein. And that, uh, that vein just showed tremendous values, not only platinum, palladium. We got gold, silver, very high titanium, a lot of copper. And uh, our biggest surprise was rhodium. I don't think that's been seen in, in large quantities like we've seen in this country, uh, to my knowledge, ever. So we're probably at this point about 20 feet underground, 25, 30 feet into the mine and uh, very solid, uh, no, no timbering required. And there's that vein, you can see ranges right here from about an inch to further up, you'll see it uh, as much as a foot wide. But look at the colors in here. I mean, you can see why most of the rock that they pulled out of this mine got taken for processing because it's just such a highly mineralized area. And that's rare. Here you can see the vein actually is several feet thick, runs from both sides, and uh, we got readings. In fact, we, we pulled some material from here. This is where we saw high gold and high silver in addition to the platinum. 
uh, palladium, copper, titanium throughout. There's that vein again on the ceiling and the spine. And we carry it back. Gets a little bit uh, narrower and a little bit tighter, uh, but still, still a good five feet tall until the very end. We're about 80 to 85 feet in now. And you can see the last, of course we're thick with mosquitoes, but welcome to Wyoming. The last sort of, sort of few drill holes right there into that vein. There is the, I don't know if you can see that. I can't adjust that flashlight. There's the actual vein that they followed. Uh, so we could actually continue this on and probably have very good numbers to show for it. I'm gonna actually pull, probably from here, but I'll pull some material that we're gonna send out for some third party testing. Uh, and then we can validate what we have here because this is exciting. Just kind of wanted you to see what we see and be able to you know, feel why we're so damn excited.